I am making my own dream game agent and decided to share it with everyone. It is still in closed beta, but if you want, you can download version 0.95 by joining my Discord server right now. And remember, I'm listening to every possible feedback. So if you want to be part of this amazing community, join it and I will be glad to hear you. But as I said, we just released a new closed version of the ancient and here is the future highlights. We got particle system. Yes, you can spawn as many particles you want to or as many particles your computer can handle. And yes, you can use a mesh to spawn it, an area, and you can control the movement. You can even add skeleton animation to your particles. Yes, my friends, you can add an animated character as a particle and spawn it everywhere. That's amazing. Expect more features and updates in the particle system very soon. A scene can now be paused. Yes, I exposed a variable in the scene uh, called pause it that can use to pause or unpause the scene. And if you are writing a Python script, you can even use the method pause it update to write logic when the game is paused. Yes, you can literally run your game when it is paused to do some custom stuff if you want to. That's amazing. Tooling support. Yes, I said that the engine is scriptable in Python, but you can use Python, of course, to write your game, but you can also use the same Python API to write tools to help you build a better game. In other words, if you want to spawn procedural stuff across the map, but not in the game, you want to do that in the editor so you can edit later, you can now run a script from the, from the text editor and it's gonna run as a tool. Again, I'm gonna add more features to this tooling support such, such as the option to add a new custom window with your own UI to customize your tool, but expect that later on. I'm very excited by this tooling support because I really like to create a solution programmatically to solve game development problems such as item placement and so on. And last but not least, we finally have better assets thumbnails. If you create a material, well, you have a thumbnail for it and it it's very easy to find the material in the asset browser. If you make a new scene, well, guess what? The scene now have a thumbnail and the same for the meshes and expect more thumbnails in the future. It definitely improves the overall experience of the game agent. Most of those features were feature requests on my Discord server. So as I said, this engine is basically 100% based on feedback. So it's very important that you try it out and give me your feedback because, well, I may implement everything you asked for. So that's amazing and thank you a lot for everyone that is following this series and this game engine. I'm very excited to see what you'll be able to come up with by using the engine and spoilers, I have a new name for the game engine and I'm gonna review it very soon. So leave in the comment what do you think that I have chosen for the new na name of the game engine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please consider it so because I'm posting more and more devlogs of of the game engine and of my games caveman and the mmorpg so i hope you enjoy it and i see you in the next video